Look, Sloane. Look. Look how small Sloane is. Let me see if I can show you. So, the beginning of 2022, I was still working full time. Um, and I had a very hectic schedule. So, um, the beginning of these videos will just be like stuff that I caught after work and on my days off. And then later into the recap, you'll see more vlogging um, and stuff closer to what we were doing at the end of the year and when I had more time on my hands. Is it good? Mm. <laughs> Here. Can I just say that at this age, I thought that Sloan had a head full of hair, and looking back. Not even close. You need help? Hmm? No. Sloan, Sloan, just finish your report so I can finish playing my game, please. So Sloan is nine months here, already taking over my iPad. Um... So it's a no-brainer that she can navigate the iPad the way she can at 20 months now. Remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and pull the mask down to start the flow of oxygen. Place the mask over your nose. So this is our first trip of the year. We are on our way to Miami. Um, this is not Sloan's first flight. We went to Vegas in October of 2021. So that was her first flight around six months. Yeah, six months. So she does really well on flights. Um, usually I get the compliment and I consider it a compliment that no one knew that there was a baby on board. Um, I will say I'm sure the day will come where they do know that there's a baby on board, so I'll just soak in the compliments for now. Here we are finally in Miami. We stopped at Carrot Express. This is probably one of my favorite places to eat in Miami. It's not extravagant. It's not super luxurious, but it's so good. <laughs> I'm just recording slow. What is it that you're taking? <laughs> Ginger shot. Okay. Do you know how to take a shot? No. Open your mouth. Do not go like this. Go like this. Like, quarterback. I don't do that because I'll be like, <laughs> call me. <laughs> Whoa, I'm with Alex. This is burning. You just, oh my gosh. One swoop, mom. I can't drink like that. Got a little bit left. Sloan just ate scrambled eggs off the table. Ooh. Now you can have some water if you want. Ooh. Yeah, with you, Alex. <laughs> It's burning everywhere. In your nose? No. It's my mouth, through, down to here. Even my ears feel a little weird. So here we are at Top Golf with my uncle. We had them wish him a happy birthday. He's looking around because his birthday was the week before, but we missed it. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate that.
here is Sloane taking her first step. She was 10 months old. Yes, she started walking at 10 months. Okay, come on. What is Hattie recording you? Come to Heidi. Y'all, why am I trying to get my child to walk towards me by holding a treat in front of her face? Sloan is again having navigated her way to Sesame Street on the iPad, acting like she's 25. I honestly don't even know how she learned how to do all of this because I did not sit down and teach her. So here we are at the outlets. I did not put shoes on Sloan this day because she was just a baby. Um, so while we were out, I actually had to buy her shoes. And as you can see, she garnered a lot of attention as a tiny little baby trying to walk through the outlet mall. It's okay. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, one second, one second, one second. Okay. So every time I record in my car, I have to remember that I can't face the camera that way or I'm gonna spin like, for, look, and I probably just did it. Or I'm gonna have to spend forever editing to make sure that my address is not in the camera. But um, what was I gonna say? Oh, so I took my car to get um, like the maintenance done yesterday. And they run your car through the car wash when, when they're done. And so I'm like, the maintenance was already gonna take like two hours. So I'm like, okay. At two hours, I go ask like how much longer? And they're like, oh, well, do you want it run through the car wash? And initially I told them like, no, I don't, I, I could care less, honestly. And then this time I'm like, I, like, I just said, I don't care. Like, just, if you wanna do it, go ahead and do it. If you don't, I don't, like, I really don't care either way. Um, and so like, she comes back and tells me that my car is in the wash and I get Sloan together and like all of our stuff and everything. And I walk over to where I would be picking up my car. And I'm probably there for like 20 minutes. And I'm like, she asked me, oh, do you wanna go wait in the lobby and I can come get you? You just told me my car was ready. Why would I go back to the lobby? So then I'm like, um, do I owe anything? She says no, so I'm like, okay waiting a little bit longer the guy that was initially helping me um comes back and he's and i'm like can you check on my car they check on my car they started um what's it called <laughs> detailing it so i was like oh i'm gonna go sit my ass down okay <laughs> i'll take a free detail but yeah so i'm going to starbucks and then um we're gonna go to build a bear today because I'm gonna post the girls like Instagram or TikTok or whatever it is on um, like in the description below but I saw that apparently you get a Build-A-Bear 
that costs the age you're turning. So I'm like, okay, well Sloan gets a $1 Build-A-Bear. So we're about to go get her a Build-A-Bear today. I haven't vlogged in a really long time. And I'm like, so the thing is like, I'll post a video and of course there's like people who are fully supportive. And then there are people who are like, oh, your child's gonna be in so much danger. She doesn't have a father. First off, she's only gonna be in danger to people like you who think that you can violate someone because they don't have a man to defend them. But for those of you who don't believe that, I think she'll be safe. But anyways, besides the point, but so I'm planning her first birthday party and initially I wasn't gonna um, do anything cause I'm like, we have no like family out here. Um, so it would have been just something small. And then like, I think in February, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna plan a huge birthday party and I'm gonna have, it's wild one theme. So it's like, she's a wild one. I ordered like all this stuff. Um, I have like animal, what is it like like wild animals coming <laughs> like what the hell um so yeah um but so yeah i'm like i posted on my instagram today that i'm like always stuck in between whether i am going to post on the internet or not um just because people are weird and you post and people think that their opinion matters. One person, I think I like told them if they said something else like in my comments that I was gonna block them and someone came in their defense. This is a public forum. They should be allowed to say whatever they want. Oh, not on my page. Um, so yeah, it's just so hilarious because I didn't come on here asking anyone their opinion on anything half of the world if not more is living their life based on how someone else thinks they should live and i don't actually give half of a fuck so okay i wasn't intending to rant this morning but that's what came out so this way slow come on you want to grab her hand? Mm -hmm. Let's go to build a beer. Come on. She refused to walk in on her own, so. Um, I guess let's go up to the front. To get her birthday bear. Oh, cool. What's your birthday? April 11th. Uh, April 18th. Yes. Fine, we'll get that in a second. What's her name? Sloan, S L O A N. It's one? Yes. When you get rung up, we'll make sure you have a member so you can do the birthday bear. Okay. There's her sticker, and the bear's going to be the one in the last bin that's our favorite cup. Okay. Can you put it on her? Yeah. Neck or front? Um, uh, I guess on her back. Let's see what it looks like. Someone's first birthday. Excuse me. Alright, let's see. Alright, look, Sloan, this is the one you get to do. Mm-hmm. Ready? I don't even know what you're supposed to do. Oh, do you start here? You stay here. Add the animal cost. What? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we should follow somebody who knows what they're doing. But like, <laughs> where are you supposed to go? 
think you get it stuffed. That's that person Oh, he's stuffing hers. Okay. Let's go over there. Hmm. You have to get your birthday hat, Slow. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. Um, no. No worries. Do you want me to do the wishes? You're going to come right over here. Okay. You're going to have to sell here. <laughs> Choose which shirt you like. Which one do you want, Sloney? Which one? Which one do you want for your bear? So, which one do you want? Which one do you want for your bear? Hey, let's so turn this one. Which one do you want for your baby? For your bear. Let's which one? one? Which one? She's not gonna choose. She usually chooses. I think it's too busy in here. Do you want one of those shirts, Sloan? Sloan, do you want Ouch. this? Where's the bear? Oh, right here. Alright, time to name her Sloan. So what do you want to name her? Do you have a name in mind? Scan the tag. Where do I scan? Oh, there. Underneath you. Slide it back. Mom more. <laughs> name your first friend. You want some more name ideas? You can name her April. Here, let's name her April. Sloan, you have to come over here to get your picture taken. Sloan, come on. Come on, come on, come on. So our time passes are for 10 a.m. So this is our first stop in our road trip on our way down to Florida for Sloan's birthday party. I did not want her in the car, stuck in her car seat on her birthday. So today is April 11th and we're going to the Georgia Aquarium. It is 9.49. I did not want to go in without getting Sloan something to eat. So I ordered an oatmeal from Starbucks and I told my mom okay I'm just gonna <laughs> I said I'm okay I'm just gonna drop you off run inside and grab it and then we showed up to the Starbucks sooner than I thought so I didn't really finish telling the game plan and so she got out I'm at a red light she got out the car to go to the Starbucks grab the oatmeal when she gets out of the car, she realizes that 
the key to the car is in her bag and so the car won't like keep running unless she leaves her bag so she just throws her bag back in the car meanwhile her bag has her phone now she doesn't know where I am to go. I guess I can circle back around. This is too stressful. I'm trying to do an intermittent fasting where I don't um, eat until like 11 a.m. And I need food right now. I need food. I need coffee. I need anything, honestly. So the point of her jumping out to go get it was so that we weren't late for our shit. Our time passes, which are at 10 a.m. Um, I don't even know what the game plan was. I really don't know what the game plan was. You're all gonna be mad at me. <laughs> I don't know where my mom is. <laughs> So we're at the, we found my mom. She was in to Starbucks run. Um, we're at the Georgia Aquarium. Um, Sloan had a little bit of her oatmeal. She looks excited to go inside. She keeps kicking her feet. I didn't bring a stroller. I'm just wearing this thing. to just walk around freely in here. Look. She keeps trying to take it off. a behind the seas tour. I don't really know what it, it involves, but it's like an extra thing. And it was supposed to be at 1045. And I went to information to ask about um, parking at 1115. And he told me that I had a behind the seas tour pass. So now we're going to it at um, 1215. Let's go. Sloan just woke up from her nap. <laughs> so we're waiting for the tour to start. Whoa! He grab her. <laughs> she fell off of this thing. There are tour passes. What do you think is going to be in the tour? Oh, behind the scenes, like, what, like how this thing all works? Is that what yeah, I guess, but I don't want to know, like, the mechanical stuff. I don't think people will pay for the mechanical stuff, so they wouldn't get too many people to buy tickets. Not repeat customers. So this tour is starting. They said that we're gonna go visit, I think, three of their most popular exhibits. And if we get lost and don't know where to go, we just follow their sign. That sign. Uh oh, VIP access. VIP. This is how someone's staring at the kids on their field trip. Okay, through here. Is this where, where the whale shark is?
not letting me get a picture of her. Ow! Get out of my shirt. Can you pull her hand out, please? You don't want to get a picture? Alright, so we get to keep our badges as souvenirs. I'll probably put mine in Sloan's time capsule. I think I've, I've shown you guys the time capsule and some of the stuff that I put in it. But I'm ready to go. We got here at 10. Which way is the gift shop? So we're going to go to the gift shop and then leave. Is that the gift shop? I thought I saw little pink turtles. Oh wait, let's go over there. Sloan keeps pulling this off, so she's gonna look like a crazy woman. Which shirt? Which one go ahead and pick which shirt you want. Pick one. 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 <laughs> Which one do you want? <coughs> she always does this awkward laugh when she has to choose. Go ahead. Which one do you want? <laughs> okay, purple. <laughs> We stopped somewhere in South Georgia, Southern Georgia, whatever it's called, um, to take a break before we <laughs> headed down into so. Florida. We stopped at a restaurant. We're in Georgia, almost in Florida. Careful. Sloan has screamed, well, she didn't, she hasn't been like crying, crying, but like just whiny. I think she just doesn't want to be in the car so long. So, oh, oh my gosh, she was a bug. Letting her like walk around a little bit. driving when we get to Florida. Hey, did you put something in your mouth? She's so nasty. She likes to eat dirt. Look at her. We let the tortoises out to get some, some natural sunlight. This one is biscuit. Sorry, Sloan. You know, I'm putting this back in the car. And this one is magenta. Okay. like that kid on um, cartoon movies where like the animals are freaking scared of them. Leave her alone, Sloan. Leave her alone. Go get, go get Biscuit. Go get him. Get him. He's moving fast. Oh, she's trying to get away. She's going back in the thing. What? She was trying to burrow down. Mm. Four mile. Take a slight left turn on the southeast First Avenue. 
So it's like 9 o'clock, 9.08. Yeah. And we are headed to the house where we're having Sloan's party. To the room. So Sloan put on her outfit that, well, I put her outfit on her this morning. And it's literally huge. I got her a 9 to 12 month. She's 12 months. <laughs> it's like falling off of her. So I think I'm going to have to stop by um, Target or somewhere and get her a belt. Because when she um, doesn't have a belt on, or I mean, I don't know what it looks like with a belt, but without a belt, um, the shorts go like all the way down to her ankles pretty much. Right? So I ridiculous. Because he did that and had me drive across the street. I have no idea. I don't think so. Go around this corner. Yeah. Alright, so we're at Sloan's birthday party. And the wild animal show is about to start. This is her um, setup for her cake and everything. One second. Snake and yeah. Sloan, get over here. Just grab her. I don't know what's in there. I know you don't like this, but please come see me. I have a son. I saw him too. Go see you, mommy. Because I don't want to put your fingers in there. Say hi, Sloan. I was like, I don't want to put your fingers in She's already oh, opening her present. Hi, guys. Hi, my name is Kaylee. I'm an animal trainer coming from Kendall. And we deal with exotic wildlife. Guys, I'm going to start with my smallest animal of the show just to show you that he might be a little intimidating, but again, nothing big to fear. Now, this year is my tiny little friend, Mr. Romeo. Oh, my. Come on, Mr. Romeo. Now, is he alive? Definitely, guys. And is he poisonous or venomous? Well, he's venomous. I know that because he has that beautiful little stinger on his backside. Yeah. This one here is the emperor scorpion. The larger the scorpion, the less venomous they are. Here you go. And say cheese. Guys, can we give her a giant round of applause? I mean, that took me 27 years to master. Okay, that is a big deal. You are doing amazing. Got him. Awesome, now that's it for Romeo. Romeo has already had his moment to shine. We're going to go ahead and bring out my friend Elvis. Anybody know who Elvis is in the real world? I hope so, guys. Elvis had all the sickest dance moves. In fact, the ladies loved Elvis. And you guys tell me, do you love my Mr. Elvis here? Ew! Oh, look at those long dancing legs. Let me see them, buddy. Now this year is my cane toad, Mr. Elvis. And we called him Elvis because he does have those nice long dancing legs. Whoa. Now, cane toads are actually poisonous creatures. Whoa. Last, I had a venomous creature. Oh, don't get too excited, buddy. It's okay. This is Sloan during her okay. animal show. Now, let me get a little napkin. I'm going to make him a nice little diaper here. That way, he doesn't go around leaking on everyone. Yep. There you go, buddy. Oh, so, my God. He like that. That's not how you wear a diaper. Wait a minute. There it is. Now, the cane toad, well, he's only poisonous. Well, I have one living dinosaur still here in the state of Florida. And this is what I brought to meet you guys today. Oh now, my gosh. my buddy here, well, his name is Mr. Scooter. Scooter, Jumping that's around. not how you're supposed to do that. All right, Scooter's too anxious. He really wants to come out to say hi. Guys, let's welcome my American alligator, <gasps> Mr. Scooter. Hi, hey, Scooter. Oh. He's cute. <laughs> This year is an alligator, and I know that just by looking at him. Now, if you look at the shape of his nose, you notice that it has kind of like a rounded top to it. So that's one clear way to identify an alligator. If it was a crocodile, it would look a little different. It would be nice and pointy at the top. Well, now crocodiles, you'll see all of his teeth. It looks like he's smiling from a mile away. <laughs> now, it's important because Florida, it's one of the most awesome states. We have both alligators and crocodiles. Alligators, well, they tend to sunbathe all day long, and they don't go around causing much problems. Now, crocodiles, on the other hand, well, they are master hunters, guys. That also means the third largest snake in the world. Ooh, someone likes snakes? You like snakes? With the chicken. You are adorable. You are adorable. I love her little outfit. Come over here. Now, guys, the first largest snake in the world, does anybody know what it is? Anaconda. Exactly, anaconda. Now, anacondas have terrible attitudes, so I brought my friend. 
So can you guys tell that this is actually my birthday party? I mean, technically, we have to share birthdays and birthday parties for the rest of our life because I was born on the 5th and Sloan was born on the 11th, but I'm having way too much fun. Also, this photographer is awesome and I will post her information down below. The Burmese python instead. Ooh. Now Burmese pythons are supposed to be green and brown. What? Why does mine look like a giant banana? Anybody know why he's this color? Is he <laughs> Get her away exactly. from me, please. Now basically all that means is he's missing some color pigmentation in his scales. Yeah. This snake can live to be a total of 20 years of age. At 20 years of age, you'll be just around the size of this entire patio. A 20 foot snake and 200 pounds. My birthday was on the 5th. Do you lift? You look like you might work out sometimes, right? Because this guy, well, he's kind of heavy. You go ahead and tell me for yourself. There you go. Put your arms out just like this. Okay, we got to All right, and we're going to have you flip this hand for me. Yeah, just like that. And lightly hold him by the neck. It's okay. Hold him right here a little bit more. There we go. No, 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 no. Wow, guys. <laughs> Say cheese! All right, we need to play some Britney Spears. Yeah! She's having her Britney Spears moment! Awesome, guys. At least soft scales. Look at it! Touch the snakes, Mom. Do you want to touch it? Maybe I did too. Wow! Oh, she's never going to be scared of snakes. The fennec fox. Oh, my gosh. Hi, sugar! You like this one, don't you? Isn't she cute? Now guys, this is the world's smallest wild dog, and you guys see how big she is? Oh my goodness. Do we think she'll be getting any bigger than this? No. No. At one year of age, she's already full grown. And again, this here is Sugar, my sunny fox. Now we didn't name her Sugar, because it looks like she is a little bit of brown sugar here in her mm -hmm. back. And this does give away where she Up next, well, this is a different type of animal. It's not a little puppy. Oh it's my gosh. It's a bird. Oh, wow. Not just any bird, guys. This is one of the most amazing hunting birds of them all. Now, there are a few different types of hunting birds which are known as a bird of prey. Does anybody want to take any, or does anybody know any different types of birds of prey? Um, we got the country bird. A vulture? Bird. Vulture is a bird of prey, yes, absolutely. Isn't, isn't osprey? Osprey in the hawk family, yeah. Okay. We got falcons and we have owls and we have eagles. Now eagles and vultures, well, they're pretty giant birds and those would be hard to handle. However, I did bring one of the most beautiful of them all. Ooh. Come on, buddy. Good job. Oh, and I got it. Courtney. <laughs> now guys, this here is my favorite of all hunting birds. This here is known as a barn owl. Barn owl. Hmm. Where do we think it lives? In a barn? In a barn. Yeah, 99% of the time, these guys will be found in the barn. Softest feathers of all. However, for down feathers, they can't fly in the rain. So that's the last reason. These guys will most likely be found indoors of a barn. Now, let's see. Let's see those giant wings of yours. Wow, he is such an elegant boy. In fact, as he flaps those wings, we typically can't even hear a single sound. Because like we mentioned, he likes in some mice, and mice are extremely quiet. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. Now, I do want to take a any oh. sloth lovers in the house? Ew, no. Now this is not a sloth. Yeah, sloths are kind of slow creatures. Now this here is actually the, a cousin of the sloth, and they both live in the rainforest. Now this guy, all we call him our funny friend. He has a two foot long tongue. His tongue goes all the way past his tiny little belly button. You're right, it is an ant eater. Three, go home, Pickles! <laughs> Good job, Mr. Pickles. Let's give Pickles a round of applause. He is a paid actor. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. Now King Julian, he was known as a ring-tailed lemur. That's because he had rings literally on his tail, guys. This year, well, she has no rings, but she is in fact a lemur. Hi, my girl. Oh my goodness. And I like to give it from my queen jade and I. Oh, now I'm going to go ahead and give it to you, mom. But this really is for you, young lady. Thank and it's with some of our very favorite animals of the Thank show. You. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. Yay. Alright, we're about to go into the butterfly conservatory. I'm gonna wait until there's no one by the door. <gasps> ready, Sloan? Are you ready? Right, let's see if we can get in. We don't wanna let any of the butterflies out. I want 
it to land on uh, I want it to land on Sloan more than I want it to land on me. Did it land on you? Oh my gosh! I didn't, I, didn't, I was trying to take a picture. Just land on Sloan. Jesus. Oh, what the f <gasps> A flamingo! Right here! Oh my gosh. A flamingo! Oh my goodness. Hi, baby! Look what they have out for them to eat. Honestly, that flamingo scared the crap out of me. There's another one. like a vine of Today I'm going to take her to a strawberry patch. <clears throat> I'm curious as to whether she's going to actually pick strawberries or what, but I guess we'll see. We're about to get her dressed. Before y'all judge, I gave Sloan the option of these Uggs and these Uggs, and she chose the purple ones. Right, Sloan? Sloan. She chose purple. They kind of match because she has purple hearts in her shorts. And so I put a purple barrette in her hair, but. Oh well, she's one. All right, we just got to the pumpkin, or not the pumpkin patch, the strawberry patch. I wonder if it's this many kids here or if they're having like a field trip because there's so many kids here already. <laughs> Sloan gets so excited whenever she sees kids. 
and she's super outgoing and I'm like, well, I won't say I'm not outgoing, but I don't really want to talk to everybody and she makes me have to talk to everybody because she talks to everybody. I need to figure out where I need to go. I wonder if they have chickens. <gasps> they do. Oh my gosh, a little pig. We have to go over there. Come on, slime. So I think this is going to work better. I brought this little thingy, which she usually sits on my hip. I'm trying to figure out if she needs like a, a, something for her back. I guess we'll figure it out. All right, we're going to go see the pig. These things are so cute. closer to the back. <laughs> Are they good, Sloan? <laughs> Sloan has not been picking any strawberries. I'm doing this whole field trip on my own. Look at me. I can't even leave her alone with the strawberries. She keeps eating her. Sloan, we have to pay for them. Have a seat. Sorry. They're so pretty. Don't dump them out. Mm. Have a seat, Sloan. Sloan, you ready for your swim lessons? Yes or no? Come on, let's go. So, right now she has her pajama bottoms on. A rash guard but once we get inside I'm gonna put her in um hold my hand She's supposed to have three towels. She's doing she's doing ISR, <clears throat> so it's not like traditional swim lessons. It's more like what is it? I don't want to say like survival. I feel like that sounds scary, but look at her. I 
I'm gonna pick her up. All right, so inside going to the locker room. You ready, Sloan? She's like half asleep. What does your look like? Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, cutie. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go. Come on. You gotta walk out. Come on. and her lesson starts at one. We're supposed to be five minutes early, so her instructor said that she's waiting on another lesson, but it sounds like, you don't have your phone? It's pro, oh no, it's under the towels. Um, her lesson's supposed to start at one and the instructor said that she's waiting for another client to show up, so they're probably gonna just miss their session today. Um, they're like 10 minute increments or like blocks, so if they don't show up, then I think that they just missed their lesson for the day. This is Sloan after her lesson. Show everyone. Oh, bless you. How was your lesson? Tell them that you cried. Right? You cried a little bit? Okay, so they just had her in the water, the instructor was holding her. She would like dunk the back of her head in, like let her float kind of, and Sloan would float a little bit on her own and try to turn over. The only reason the instructor did not let her turn on her own today was because she did not know, with Sloan crying so much, she didn't know like how her breathing was. And so kind of wanted to see her breathing with her um, floating on her back, like calm. So, but she has this lesson every single day for the next six weeks. <clears throat> it's a 10 minute lesson. So it's really quick. We, she literally got in the water at one o'clock and then um, at 1.12, we were changing her clothes again. So super fast. So this is Sloan's outfit for the day. Show them your outfit, Sloan. Crocs. Reusable diaper, swim diaper. Crash guard. Look at this girl. That might be hot, Sloan. Please don't touch. Okay, I guess we'll figure out if it's hot. Is it hot? Yeah, kind of. Come on, let's go. Come on. Let's go this way. Catch me. So we got there early and the instructor let us just get our um, session out of the way. So now we are leaving. <clears throat> I got a couple pictures. I think I said that we can't do videos until Friday, but literally it's like 10 minutes. And I was even forgetting to take pictures because I was like talking to Sloan, trying to make her feel better, etc. And I got a few, so I'll try to add them to this video. And here we are finishing off the month of May with a Girls on the Run 5K. So I think these next few clips kind of sums up our June. Sloan makes a mess. Sloan gets into some things she probably shouldn't and she harasses her grandmother. So. This is what happens when I don't hang my curtains and I just leave the ladder out. I literally turned around and she was on this one. Oh my gosh. Can I not, can I do that to my neck, please? Can I have my neck back, please? Thank you. I have my mouth too. What are you doing? <laughs> 